Hello, and welcome back to How To with Melissa's Magical Creations. I am Kathleen, and today I am going to show you how to make your own deodorant, aluminum free. Um, now I have the ingredients I already put, the, the wets and the dries. Um, I already have them measured out and put together. Um, so what I'm going to do is just tell you what it is that I used, and then we're going to go from there. Um, now, for my wets, now I this is I'm not vegan, so I do not know what kind of waxy material you can use to make sure this solidifies um, and is in a roll not roll on but um, tube type. So we're going to be using these. Um, so if you want this kind of consistency, then you would need some kind of wax substance. Um, if you're vegan, I don't know what you would use, but I use beeswax. So I have one fourth cup of beeswax, one fourth cup of coconut oil, and one fourth cup of shea butter, and one fourth cup of coconut, I'm sorry, cocoa butter. Now, I melted them down. This is still kind of hot, so I'm going to use this. <clears throat> I melted some down, and this is what it looks like. Um, I think the oil that you would use if you were vegan starts with a C, but I'm not quite sure. I have some friends who are vegans, but I've never asked them, so I'm pretty sure that's what it is, though. It starts with a C. Um, but now that's for your wets. You melt them down until they are a liquid consistency. Now for your dries, you're going to use two thirds cup of tapioca flour. You're going to use two thirds cup of baking soda. Now I have a big huge container of baking soda I'm not going to lift up, but it's just regular baking soda. If you have Arm & Hammer, if you get the generic, whichever one you're going to use, but two thirds cup of baking soda. Um, and then you're going to use one full cup of arrowroot powder. Now with that, that's how much you're going to use for those. But then you're going to use one rounded tablespoon of zinc oxide. And then, of course, I add vitamin E oil to the liquids because I want my skin, my children's skin, anyone else's skin who I'm making it for to be nice and smooth and conditioned. Um, and then I also use tea tree oil. Tea tree oil helps kill the germs that cause odors. Um, and then if you want to scent it, then you would add whatever scent you want to use. Um, now, I have a mixer. I just dropped something. Excuse me. Okay. Um, I have a mixer. A little handheld mixer that I use when I'm making soaps and things like that. Um, that'll be another video. But I'm going to, okay, I can touch it and not want to scream. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to add the wets to the dries. And then I'm going to use my hand mixer to mix it. All right, I'm going to just use a spatula to get this out. And I hear kids and dogs, so that must mean that kids are downstairs. I'm going to put this right here because I'm going to need that spatula later. Okay, move this out the way. You two need to stop now. Sorry. I'm going to use my hand mixer and just mix this up. I'm going to put it on the lowest setting just to get it in there, get it mixed up. Now for me, when I do this, I'm going to add a little more of the scent that I'm going to be putting in here because I want to make sure it's a nice scent that's left. 
Now because I've got it pretty much incorporated, I'm going to put it up on a higher setting because I just want to make sure it gets thoroughly mixed. And then I'm going to use the spatula to get anything. Well, I'm going to use the spatula now to get whatever down off of the sides. Now, if you don't want to in that kind of a um, tube, you can always put it into a jar and use it like that. I know some people who use their deodorants like that. But I like the store consistency, you know, in a tube. It's easy. It's not messy. Okay. All right. So this is what it, the consistency you want it to be. And I'm just going to use this spatula, the smaller end, to get the rest of this off. Because this is all deodorant. Okay. Okay. Well, it's a lot up in here. So try and get as much out as you can. You don't want to leave anything in there because this is all going to go inside of the tubes. Alright, so got pretty much all of it off that I can't get off, which is fine. Daylin, come on. This needs to be rinsed out. Once you're done using it, you're handheld, or even if you're using an old fashioned kind that has the whisks, um, you need to rinse it off immediately. So Run it under some hot water, all hot, and that way you don't have to worry about it starting to solidify on that. Try and work as quickly as you can. Gabe, here, put that in the sink so he can do that too. All right, now with this spoon, I'm just going to make sure what I pulled off gets incorporated in the mix. All right, now I'm going to add the scent. It could be any kind of scent that you like. Doesn't matter. 
you're just adding some, your preference or maybe your, um, you know, whoever you're making it for. So I'm just adding some. And what I'm using is just an odor eliminator. Um, you can set that in the sink. Just don't let the cord be in the sink. Um, it's, an, it's called odor eliminator. And it's, it's a very soft scent, um, almost like a powder. It smells really fresh. So I'm going to use that because that can be used by either a man or a woman. And it's not overpowering. So if they choose to wear perfume or cologne or an oil, they don't have to worry about it. Be, um, you know, overtaking what they like to wear. All right. So, again, this is the consistency that you want. Now, I have my containers, and I'm going to pour them in now. Make sure you use something that has not been used before because I've seen that if you use something that's been pre-used, you have to pour it while it's cool because other than that, it'll pour straight through because the bottom seal has been, you know, broken already. All right. All right. Let's just make sure this is all the way down that way. As much as you can in there, and then you whatever you pour, tamp it down. That way, you can make sure to fill it up. Now, a couple of people have asked me what kind of music you know I usually play on my you know, people I've worked with. Um, ask me what kind of music I play for my videos. I listen to Pandora. I don't care about the commercials. So I listen to Pandora and it's, this is the, for my music, I'm sorry, for my YouTube videos, it's usually the IBA. Um, they are a Cuban, Afro-Cuban um, group. They're a sister team. And this is what it looks like once you poured it. And what it's going to do is it's going to solidify. Um, but Afro-Cuban um, duo and, you know, other music like that. Soft, soothing. Um, I wouldn't say new age, but more message related. I feel if I'm going to listen to something, it's going to teach me something. Right now, Jill Scott's playing. Um, let's see. I still hear kids playing. They come down here while I'm doing something. They don't want to come down here when I need them. Then they're making noise. Yeah, I heard you. And yeah, you said what? So stop. Then they're playing in the kitchen where they absolutely know better. They absolutely know better. All right. I'm going to tamp this down because I want to get as much as I can in here. If you were to go to the store and buy um, just a regular, this is aluminum free, so of course it's better for you and better for your skin. But if you were to buy just a regular degree, secret, um, Dove, a container this size, you're paying like $3 to some change. I'm going to be able to make this and more and not come anywhere near it. So you're saving, like this right here playing is Lauren Hill. I haven't heard her in a while. Um, but 
you're going to save yourself money and it's healthier for you. A lot of, you know, doctors and scientists are now saying that the aluminum that's found in the deodorants are bad for you. So I suggest, you know, research, see what you can use that's healthier for you. And even if you were to, if you make your own, it's wonderful because if you buy the natural um, and the organic deodorants, they're like $12 and up. I don't even sell mine for that much because it shouldn't rape your pockets. And not, I can't, I shouldn't say rape, um, price gouge. They shouldn't do that. When you're trying to do something health, healthier for yourself or for your family. All right, so that's two. They usually take about 12 to 24 hours to set. Um, you could speed it up a little bit after they cool down a lot by putting them in the refrigerator. It really just depends on, you know, how soon you need it. I've got an order at work where um, a couple people want some tomorrow. So when it cools down a little bit, I'll be putting it in the refrigerator. Whoops. Tamp this down so I can get in there. That way I can put some more in there. If it's on the outside, just pull it right off and put it in there. Because as it solidifies, it'll settle. So that's why you want to make sure the tamping also gets all of the air bubbles out. So if there are any air bubbles, they'll get out. You know, after a while, it might start to get a little harder, and that's fine. You just, by that, you just scoop it in and then tamp. All right, so you get the picture. <laughs> this is all you do. You just try and keep, make sure you get as much down in there as you can. And then you let it harden. And it's not going to be hard to where you can't use it. It's just going to be hard to where it does not melt as you're using it. It will soften a little bit to get on you, just like regular deodorant does. Um, when I first started making it, I had to change up the um, recipe because it wasn't staying as hard as I want it. It would melt, just melt. As soon as you put it on you, it would just, ugh. I mean, it worked, but it's just for me, it was messy. So I had to adjust the recipe a little bit just to make sure. And that's why I started using the beeswax and the cocoa butter so that it would make sure to stay the way I wanted it to stay. Okay. Okay. I 
And then if you have any left over, that's not enough for an entire container. The only thing you need to do is just get a little jar. And that's when you can just scoop it out and put it on. Because I know some people have deodorants like that. Like I said, I don't like that because to me it's messy. But there are some people who just enjoy that. So you can do it that way or you can even put it in that way to begin with. Totally up to you how you want to use it. But that's it. Plain and simple. And IBA is spelt, um, spelled, because spelt is not a word, um, I-B-E-Y-I. -I. In case you ever want to just check it out on your own. They're awesome. So I'm just right now scooping it in and just tamping it down each time I do. If it's more than the container, I just scoop up, you know. Use my finger, screw it up. got enough for maybe one or two more so I'm going to quickly put that together I don't want this to solidify in the bowl itself because then that'll be messy I'm trying to get it out all right so I'm just gonna set this do not put the lid on it for at least you know a couple hours because you don't want it to sweat while it's I'm trying to solidify and cool down because that's exactly what happened. You don't want that to happen. So I'm going to get two more containers out. I thought maybe six, but I wasn't quite sure. I always second guess myself with certain things. Just going to scoop this in here. So just in case anyone else wants some, my kids have theirs. Um, I have mine, so in case anyone else wants to, you know, if I get any more orders from work or anywhere else, I'll be able to have some to be made. Now, when you don't give me a scent, I use the over eliminator because it's so pretty. And not pretty feminine, it's just a nice, clean smell, and everyone wants to smell clean, hopefully. Because I know some people, and it makes you wonder. But. All right. So, I'm driving my dogs crazy making this noise. Okay. trying to make this a very short video that's why I already had everything pre-measured but because I'm talking and doing this this solidified a little I mean well this got a little hard a little sooner than I expected because usually I just pour it straight in keep it moving but because I'm explaining everything moving a little slower than I normally do Set this over here. 
That should be enough right here. And if not, I'll just put it in a little container because I know it's not going to be enough for an entire deodorant container. You want, like I said, you want to make sure you get as much as you can. Don't waste any of it. Um, I am going to have to because I know this is not going to be it for this. But you want to make sure you don't waste it. All of this is deodorant. So get off as much as you can into whatever container you're going to use. Um, these containers I purchased um, from Amazon, they are 2.7 ounce containers. Um, so, this is a good size. Okay, get that in there. I might be able to pull it off. I don't know. I just don't want to waste it. I have so much that I wiped off on the edge of the bowl. Oh, for stuff that was just a little more than what would fit in the containers. But hopefully this will be it. I think not. I think this is going to be too much. Oh, okay. But it's fine. Because I do have containers, of course. Because <laughs> of all the things that I make. For my family and for my business. That I, I have container for this. For the rest. I was able to put together six of the deodorant um, solids which is good and they're a little piled up I don't like them flat, flat across I just you know make sure that the lid will fit when it's solidified and it's good it's good to go you can use it um, and then once it's solidified, you don't have to store it in your refrigerator. You can just store it on your your dresser. I would not suggest use, keeping it in a bathroom only because of the steam. You take a shower, you take a bath, everything in there gets warm. Um, your, ba your bedroom or your dresser um, and your closet, just not directly by the register. But that's it, you know, nothing else, nothing drastic or anything like that. So, make sure that is, I wipe everything on my clothes. Oh, and I have this third one because my 10-year-old said, every time I watch one of your videos, you have black on. <laughs> Sometimes I will do like two or three videos, you know back to back so I will have on the same shirt in the videos because I just did one before that and I just did one before that or I'm going to do another after that so um but black is my favorite color so I do have more black than anything else but I put this on um so he will not say anything about it um but I do want to thank everyone for watching hopefully you'll be able to Go ahead and make your own deodorant. It'll save you a heap of money and it will be so much healthier for you so that you don't have to worry about the aluminum getting into your skin, into your system. Um, some doctors are saying it's cancer causing. So with this, you know exactly what you put in it. It's all natural. 
aluminum free and it's fragranced because I put a fragrance in there. You don't have to. You will just smell the ingredients that you put in there. So you'll, <coughs> oh, excuse me. You'll put in, um, you'll smell the coconut. Um, you'll smell the cocoa. So, you know, it's whatever you want. Um, but this is the simplistic way. Um, it takes normally 15 minutes to put this together and then it just solidifies. But because I'm doing a video, it took a little longer. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I will be doing another video and posting it up. So um, we'll have a little bit more time together. I will see you later. You enjoy the rest of your day. Be happy. Uh, make the right decisions and be blessed.